Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm sitting in front of the item that made me start my whole solar experience and journey. My sub pump. I decided to go solar because I wanted a small solar system that I could use with a battery backup in order to keep my sub pump running in case of power outage. As you can tell, everything has grown exponentially, but the one thing I have never done is to make sure that my sub pump runs regardless on whether the power is out or not. I would, what I would do, and this is so embarrassing to talk about, but I would always just keep it plugged into my house unless uh, there were really bad rainstorms and the possibility of a power outage then I would switch it over to my off-grid system. And my off-grid system, it can run it with absolutely no problem, but I would always just keep it plugged into the house. And then if I was ever at work or away from the house and there happened to be a storm or something which made me feel uncomfortable, there were times that I would actually drive home to switch it over. That's ridiculous. So I finally bought the cure to my problem. It's in this box right here, so let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so what we have is the PowerMax 30 amp automatic transfer switch. All right, let's see what's in the box. Okay, first what we have is, uh, it looks like some sort of instruction guide. Uh, there's a lot of safety alerts. I bought the uh, I bought the PMTS 30 because I just needed a 30 amp transfer switch because it's only going to be for one plug. And then it looks like uh, we have some d wiring diagrams, and the one I'm going to be paying attention to is this one right here. And it I mean it looks super easy. Wiring to control panel. Uh, line and neutral up here, wiring from the generator, which is going to be my off-grid solar, which is going to be here and here, and a wiring from the shore power, which is what I currently have here and here. So the wiring looks super easy. I mean, and that's it. That's, it's just one page. So, and here is the transfer switch. Nothing in there. All right. Comes in this plastic. All right, and this is super, super simple. I mean, it does not come with any kind of hardware that I can see. I haven't opened it up yet, but yep, and here we go. All right, looks like it comes with, uh, what, this is the ground, the ground bar. And the way it looks is it looks like the, uh, the hot from my solar is going to go here and the neutral is going to go here. And then the hot from my, uh, from my house is going to go here and the line is going to go here, the neutral. And then these are the two outs right here. This is, the, this is the line or the hot out and this is the neutral out. So everything's going to be going into here and coming out of here. I took the outlet out of the box and uh, so my, my house lines are right there. And all I have to do is pull, I'm gonna be pulling that out and uh, wiring it into the box and then going from my off-grid system into this box. And then from this box, it's gonna go back to this plug. And that's all it is. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, and after thinking about this for a little bit, I think I have a plan on how I'm going to get this all wired up. Okay, so my plan is I'm going to put the box facing this direction, and I'm going to probably put it like about right here, because these are the outs right here. These are all the ins, and these are the two outs. So that way I can just have a punch right here, and it's going to go directly into this box right here. I'm going to go ahead and keep this pipe so I, I don't have to worry about uh, an open hole on the top. I just don't want to care about it and I don't care if this pipe stays here. 
That way, if I ever decide to take this off, I do have this pipe to run back down into this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it here. I'm gonna have the wiring, I'm gonna have a conduit going into the top right here, which is going to feed my house circuit and my off-grid circuit are gonna go into the same conduit. So those are both gonna feed in, and then I'm gonna have a conduit coming out here to here, which is going to feed this plug. So that's the plan. All right, holes are drilled. Let's go ahead and see if we can screw it into the wall. Okay, now that the, uh, now that the transfer switch is on the wall, we need to set up our conduit. And I have uh, three connectors here. One's gonna go on top. One's gonna go on the side right here. And the other one is going to go into this box right here. So it's going to go here, here, and then one going up. And I'm going to be using a half inch conduit because you can put two, uh, I'm going to be using, I think it's 12 by 2 NEMA. And you can put two of those in a half inch conduit. So this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and get all that set up now. Okay, well it's the next day. Um, I had to call it a night, and then my son had a baseball game today, and it was a high of 45, and it rained, and it was really windy, uh, and he's eight, and it was terrible. So um, we did all that, and, and now I'm back down here, but let me show you what I've gotten done uh, so far. I've gotten all the conduit, I believe, done. You can see... You can see I now have the, you know, the, like I said, like you saw before, the box is, is bolted on the wall. I have the conduit going up to the rafters or up to the joists in the ceiling. Um, and then I have the conduit going from here to the box that's going to have the plug in it. These are the initial wires, so I'm going to be pulling these out and putting them down this conduit instead, along with the, uh, the Romex for the, uh, for the off grid. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of that done. So um, I will see you after I get all the wiring into this box and then I can show you how to wire it up. Okay, uh, I think it's been, uh, oh my God, I, it's been well over two hours since I started wiring all this stuff. And I went ahead and just wired it all up. Um, it was all very simple and it's exactly the way in the diagram. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Here's the diagram right here, and this is the way that it's facing. So on the bottom is the wiring to my shore power, which is my house. And then on the top two right here and here is it says wiring from generator. And that is my solar, my 24 volt off grid solar. And then these two right here are going out to that plug right there. So those are the, the wiring to the control panel, which control panel is just one plug. So, but here is the wiring right here. You can see that the, all the hots are on the top. This is the out and these are the two ends. This one is shore power and this one is generator. And here are the neutrals. This is the shore power neutral and this is the generator power uh, neutral. And then here is the out neutral. And then all of the grounds are going to this ground bar right here. So that is the wiring right there. So the next thing I need to do is just turn everything on. Turn the circuit breakers on in the, uh, in the house. And then uh, turn the circuit breaker on on my off grid. And see if the sub pump works. Okay, I have my two multimeter leads into the plug. Uh, and as you can see, I haven't turned anything on yet. So that's what we have. Nothing. Let's go turn on the circuit breaker to the house. Okay, we just turned on the circuit breaker to the house and we are getting 122.6 volts. So that is now working from shore power through our automatic transfer switch. Okay, and I might have, uh, I don't know if I, I, uh, if I told you something different at the beginning of the video since it was yesterday, but I decided to make it uh, because 
My off-grid system has been running my sub pump for the past day, and it's been running it great. I decided to use the automatic transfer switch uh, exactly the way that it's labeled, which means um, if it sees generator power, it will switch over after 30 seconds and it will use generator power until the generator power is gone and then it will switch over to my house so I have it wired up now so it's going to use my 24 volt system all the time and if I feel like uh, I'm running out of power or if the system shuts off it will automatically switch over to the grid power so that's how I've got it wired so what I have I have it turned off on the panel right now um, and so it's on, it's on at using uh, shore power at 122 volts. So let's go ahead and switch this on. Okay. And then it will take about 30 seconds for this thing to switch over. There it is. It just switched over and now it's using 120 volts from my off-grid system. So everything is working just fine. Okay, well, I believe that is it for this, uh, automatic, this automatic transfer switch down here. Um, if you have any questions about how I wired it or anything else about the automatic transfer switch, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, I will have this transfer switch in, uh, in my description, so if you want to click on that, you can look at it more details. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video, and you all have a great night. Bye-bye.